Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I am joined with my lovely co-host Jolene. Hello. Yes and welcome all in and all to technically it is the fourth which means it is Pride Month. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, so now I get all the all the gay shit on my like Instagram. I get all my favorite gay ships popping out of the woodworks. So let's fucking the corporations go. are releasing horrible merch. <laughs> Side note: Have you ever seen like a? I don't, do you not? Do you use Twitter at all? Uh, barely. Okay. Uh, uh, last year, you know the 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 uh, the web browser Opera GX. I do not. Uh, it's it's kind of like Chrome, just like a little bit better because they have like different features and whatnot. But um, mm -hmm. last last year for Pride Month, instead of like every other corporation where they made theirs like rainbow, they made their mm -hmm. profile picture two <laughs> two guys kissing <laughs> in their profile. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I'll <laughs> see if I can find it later. It was like two black guys kissing, and <laughs> they kept it for the entirety of Pride Month and a little bit after. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, it was so- because you see, like, official tweets and it just has that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I guess to celebrate technically the beginning of Pride Month for us, anyway, because it is J June 4th right now, mm -hmm. to celebrate, we are going to be reading my- me and Jolene- well, are, Jolene, is this your favorite ship? One of your favorites? No, it is not, actually. I mean, it's up there. I thought you'd rather be like, oh, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> Overrated as fuck, <laughs> though. <laughs> well, anyway, Jolene hates these guys, but I love these guys. This is my favorite ship, and what kind of got Wattpad Book Club on the on the on the map and whatnot. Our good old on the ship. map. We're on the map. Yeah, we're on a map right now. That's Europe over huh? there. That's oh, that's Canada. Oh shit, Europe. Yeah, here's your IP address. <laughs> this is where no! you live. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's Zosan, man. This is our. This uh, is my baby. Zosan. Classic Zosan. Yeah, I'm a Sanji simp as I look over and see the big statue I have on my desk. <laughs> look, look. Are you a Sanji simp or do you just want to be Sanji? Maybe both. I did feel very masculine when I cosplayed Sanji. Do you, do you think I would be insecure about my gender identity if I was born a male or no? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> anyway, this is called. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't mean it like a mean way, but I just mean it like. I still feel like you'd feel some sort of attachment. Yeah. Towards. Towards other stuff, you know? Yeah. I feel like you wouldn't fall into the whole like toxic masculinity type of vibe. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Sidetrack that conversation for another day for an existential crisis. Today we're going to be yeah, reading so <laughs> Today we're going to be reading Drunk, a Zosan fluff fan fiction. Fluff. Yeah, fluff. This is this is gonna have us kicking our feet and giggling. <laughs> oh my god! Yay, no aim! Yay, fuck yeah! I, I'm, I'm in a fluff mood. Alright, this is by Doom okay. Writer. In it's complete, I know another preference of yours. <laughs> Ooh. And then, uh, the description reads, and I quote, if I can even read, Zora won't let anyone touch his booze. No exceptions. But maybe a cute drunk Sanji could be a good exception. Anonymous said, for your fanfics, Zosan, safe for work. No AU, please. Something containing drunk Zoro, please. And I love the cable context. Drunk, sober, drunk again, and then extra chapter one, extra chapter two, extra chapter three, and then just extra chapter seven. Sorry, five. <laughs> That's not a seven. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't, we can't even read it. I Maybe can't. we should have been drunk. Oh my god, I am drinking Arizona. I, maybe I can go and go leave real quick and spike it. <laughs> maybe we'll spike it next time. Oh my god, our first ever Wattpad drunk reading. I've never been drunk. I've only, like, sipped. Alright. I don't drink heavy. Maybe I could. You know what? That could be a first. I could be tipsy for oh this. Oh my god. Then I could be more <laughs> illiterate than I already am. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Is this thing- wait, did I-, I pre okay, there we go. I, I was like, I pressed the star reading button and it's not working! Alright, I gotta move my Tari plushie out of the way, cause, uh, I Oh, do you need a coin? I have a coin. You have- uh, you don't have to flip? That's what you're saying? Cool, alright. Right. Oh shit, I got a coin? Heads or tails, my friend? Uh, I think in heads, because, yeah. Oh shit, I dropped it. <laughs> it's heads. Fuck yeah! <laughs> All right, drunk. Disclaimer, I do not own any of these characters. Oda Sensei does. Please do not hurt them, Oda. <laughs> what does these 90 comments say for this? Oh god. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> he ain't heard of us as far as I'm concerned just yet. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see real quick. <sighs> Bungie's legs are longer than my patience with the fuck. <laughs> I love that. Can we get a Zanji's Long Legs Appreciation Club? Dude, I, I appreciate a man with long legs. I'm sure you do. Yeah, I need I need a man built like that one character from Spongebob. It, I think it was Spongebob himself when he went to prom with Pearl and he had these long ass legs. No! <laughs> Please tell me you remember just... that Spongebob episode. <laughs> yeah, I do. We could just put Cameron on stealth. <laughs> Make him ten feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just like cr I'm like breaking my neck, like just looking straight up at the sky, and be like, "Hey, shorty, can I have your shorty. number, girl?" <laughs> <sighs> Zoro is an easygoing person, mostly, and he really doesn't get annoyed easily, mostly, but he doesn't really care always. But there are a few things that totally piss him off. One, insulting his friends. Two, drinking his booze. Drinking the sake he had specifically saved for cold nights like this is completely unacceptable, and his friends know better than to mess with it. Most of them do, but his but this perverted love cook ex exists to make him angry. <laughs> Who is yelling? Oh shit, that's Zoro. What the hell are you doing? He shouts when he fights Sanji, surrounded by his bottles of sake. The cook looks surprised at hearing Zoro's voice. Oh, Marimo! He says a little too loud. Come sing with me, he waves with one hand for Zoro to get closer while muttering a song known to all of them. Please tell me it's fucking like, oh, fuck, what's the name of that goddamn song? It's someone's sake! God damn it. I'm not a true One Piece fan, guys. <laughs> it's okay. We'll support you nonetheless. Thank you. I really needed that. Oh, Binks Brew! It's Binks Brew, guys! It's <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk, stupid cook? He approaches, not able to contain his laugh. Oh, he was- oh, I thought he was mad. Oopsies. <laughs> You like booze, so so you're drunk, he says, as if it's the only reasonable conclusion. As he sees the blush on his cheek from the alcohol, Zoro confirms that he is indeed drunk and is about to fight him for drinking the best of his sake, but realizes it is too late for that. He sits beside him and takes away the remaining alcohol. So, why are you wasted, he demands. First time I've seen you like this. <laughs> Nummy swa! <laughs> 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 Nami Swan called me a pervert, and R Robin Chan told me I'm too young for her. Isn't she like 38? Did you say 38? Yeah, I thought she's like in her 30s, right? She's, she's 28 pre time skip and 30 post. Oh, thank you. I got you. <clears throat> he cuts off his singing to answer. Sonic is the first time they talk to you like that. He stays as he takes his first drink. They're too harsh this time, he shouts. They're they're probably just fed up of you, he reasons with him. <laughs> Don't blame them. Why does everyone think of a perv exactly, Sanji? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> <laughs> he says seriously as he, as he tries to take the sake from Zoro, but dramatically falls too since he's too weak from being drunk. Because you are, Zoro answers, honestly and simply. But I want to find someone to love and care for. Sanji, I'm right here! <laughs> 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 S 
so that I can cook for all my heart. He admits so seriously that Zora forgets that he's drunk in that moment. What are these 101 comments say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I volunteer, I volunteer as tribute! <laughs> I volunteer as tribute! I volunteer! Please, uh, she pick me! <laughs> I'll do anything! Choose me! So pick me! Choose me! Love me! me. Love me! Everyone! <laughs> There's either those references or Hunger Game references on the side. <laughs> Maybe you should stop being creepy then, he advises as he continues to drink. Maybe, he repeats, and starts singing drunkenly again. It doesn't take a lot of time for Zora to join him, both shouting something about being in his socket. It's not like some shit I would say. I don't know, they're singing about Bink and it's some kind of sake that he has. I don't know what they're singing. It's all gibberish. <laughs> but it doesn't sound like singing at all. Sanji is leaning on Zoro's shoulder, almost asleep. And he can't take his eyes off of him. You're so cute when you're drunk, Sanji. The swordman admits like he would. admits like he never would if he was sober. You know, Marimo? The blonde sits up to get a better look at his Nakama's face. Hmm? He questions, completely at ease. Out of everyone. Sorry, I read the comment. I read the comment. What comment? Uh, you're so cute. Oh, uh, you're so cute when you're drunk, and it's like, that's so gay. <laughs> Dude, I love reading a gay ship. And they do anything remotely romantic. There's several comments like, oh, just saying gay. gay. Oh my god, gay. Homosexuals. <laughs> Kiss already. <laughs> Out of everyone on this ship, I like cooking. F I like cooking about you more. It makes me so happy to see you wolf down the food I make. He laughs, blushing even harder than before. Completely embarrassed at his words, or at his words, even at his drunken state. Zoro, on the other hand, feels smug and bends down without a second thought to capture his friend's lips with his own with a passionate kiss that seems never-ending. <laughs> Go to sleep, he demands, but he can't erase that stupid smile from his face. Good night, Zoro. Good night, Sanji. Asterix, 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 asterix. The next morning, they wake up to find each other embraced and start fighting about whose fault it was. They don't remember much about what happened, but everything else seems different between them. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is the most excited I've been about reading Zosan. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. It's your turn okay. now. Sober. Why is there 943 comments? 900 is... <laughs> oh, wait, we gotta wait, we gotta wait, we gotta wait, we gotta wait. A few days have passed since their drunken, their drunken incident, and they both did their best to avoid one another, but it was difficult when their Nakama were, were all gone, leaving them alone to guard the ship. So everything that one wanted, they had to say it directly to the other. Thor decided to break the silence and act like they, were, they always did when they were alone, meaning he wanted to start a fight. Or make the other angry so he can see him blushing again. Gay! <laughs> Did you just- That's so funny. Boy, he said, making his voice as loud as possible. Make me some food, shitty cook. Do it yourself, Marimo. Came the answer from the kitchen, but after a while later, Sanji himself appeared. The next words left Zora's mouth without a second thought. Something he would regret later. What was that? I thought it made you happy when I ate your food. <gasps> the truth is, that Zora knew what happened that night before they woke up in each other's arms. Zora was not even drunk to to begin with, and drinking alcohol <gasps> was especially. Of course, he would remember. Damn! What did you say, bastard? Sanji said, an angry blush visible on his cheek. When did ever say something like that? Oh, you don't remember, do you? A smirk started to form on Zora's lips. I don't remember because it didn't happen. Sanji answers quickly, making it clear that he did remember. Oh, so you do. The smuggish. The smugness in Zora's voice was annoying. What else do you remember, Cook? He continued. Do you remember that you kissed me and fell asleep in my arms? Oh! Uh... You kissed me first! <laughs> Zora was furious now. <laughs> I mean, Sanji was furious now, but where Zora could tell if he... he couldn't tell if he was red from embarrassment or anger. Now we gotta look at comments. Yeah, yeah, wait. 
43, the classic you kiss me first. He knows that. Da, da da. He wait what? <laughs> Busted. He he knows the gaslighting didn't work. <laughs> Oh, he I love remembers, this one Spanish huh? comment. What does the Spanish comment where it's like, say? Where it's like God. I, it translates to God. Uh, I really love the, the commentary in English. It always makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> and then the fucking standing emoji. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you angry about, Shitty Cook? What happens when we're drunk doesn't matter now that we're sober. He starts <gasps> getting up and approaching him. Oh. How can you say that? Sanji said, bringing his enraged face closer to Zoro. You're not romantic at all, Zoro. You're never gonna steal a, a, a lady's heart like that. So you want me to be romantic then? Yeah, this time honestly, <gasps> his voice gentle and calm. The playfulness gone. I wasn't talking about myself. The blonde protested, but a weakness that was not there before. I was talking about a lady's heart. What about what you want? Because if you want me to be romantic, then I could be just that. Oh! Look at his face, so he could look into his eyes, making that he was being, They're making him see that he's completely honest. If someone like grabs my face with their hands, I'm dead. I'm done. It's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's over. Like, I would disintegrate. Same. What do you want, Sanji? Asked, looking away. Instead of answering, Zora brought Sanji face near him <gasps> again and gave him a kiss. It was different than the one they had shared when they were drunk. It was slow, and gentle, and discovering. They both liked it better that, that way, but they had to break it apart for air. Sanji was about to say something, but Zoro cut him off with another kiss, this time fast and passionate. When they stopped for air again, Sanji asked, What are you doing? What if the others come back and see us? That's your problem? <laughs> and why would that be bad? Zoro asked. He didn't think of what they did was wrong. Why you ask? Because they're going to be shocked if I don't want them thinking that this is what happens when we two are left alone. So, we're never going to tell him? He demanded, afraid that he would never get to brag about Sanji being his lover. Aw, oh, wait! That's kind of sweet! He's bragging. <laughs> Yo, he, he never gets to- he, he's afraid that he doesn't get to tell people about how much he loves Sanji. <gasps> Damn. No, that's not what I meant, but- I prefer to tell them about us together and not them find out by accident, he admitted. Tell them what about us? The smugglers in Zora's voice returned. Well, Sanji said, looking down and blushing again. Hey, you're my boyfriend now, right? What do these 94 comments say? I guess his <laughs> riz works better on men than women. <laughs> 100%. Oh, damn, buddy got that. Zoro got that <laughs> W riz. <laughs> 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 That was so fast, are they gonna get married next chapter? <laughs> but what- what- are they boyfriend I like house? the- I like the one that was like, that- that was so easy, and in parentheses it's like, so real of Sanji. <laughs> I too would've <laughs> folded for Zoro. <laughs> you no, know it's same. Yeah. Oh yeah, Zoro said while hugging him, I'm your boyfriend now. That is... So romantic. I can't even mad. Chapter three. I can't even go. be like mad about like like some like some of these Wattpad books being like boom they're like like chapter one or two it's just like boom they're ready together because because um, I can't even sit here like wow that's so unrealistic that's exactly what happened to me and Cameron. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, we, we y'all just kissed and suddenly like oh my god relationship. Well, I can't say the full thing because this would get demon like the uh, age restricted oh. so fast. But tell me after, tell me after. <laughs> okay, okay. But the long story short, we talked for three days, went on one date, and then made it official the next day. Oh. Well, that sounds nice. Yeah. Anyway, there was stuff that happened. Anyway, anyway, the day had finally arrived. Zoro, despite his worry, decided to be a little extra kind to all of his Nadekama. I don't think I'm saying any of that shit right. He knew the way he approached Sam was lame and suspicious, but he would f all find out the reason later that day, so it didn't really matter. Sanji was locked in the kitchen since early in the morning, carefully preparing everyone's favorite meals. 
It was a lot of work since Luffy couldn't decide his favorite, so he just cooked them all. Dude, he, Luffy doesn't have a favorite. Just put a piece of meat on a, on a plate for him. Maybe some mashed potatoes. You'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some mashed potatoes. He's gotta have some kind of like like give him like a that's a, just tell him it's a vegetable. He'll fucking eat it. <laughs> No, you'll love a baked potato. I feel like Luffy would eat a baked potato. Especially one of those loaded baked potatoes with yeah. like the bacon and sour cream and Oh fuck I want do you wanna to go to Outback Steakhouse with me? <laughs> Absolutely. When do we wanna go? I don't work this week. I don't work with again to look them. Alright, so we're gonna go have a date at Outback Steakhouse for Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe they won't give it Oh my god, they give us a this time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Last time they gave me- they- last time they gave you the bill, even though I was paying. Wait, did they? <laughs> you remember when we went to Cracker, Cracker Barrel? They put the- they put the bill in front of you instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they did! I guess I was very masculine that day. <laughs> Both of them feared what their friends and comrades, either only- their only family, would think of their relationship. So they decided to keep it a secret until they were ready to talk about it. They were ready today. Zoro was obviously a lot more nervous than Sanji, who was able to distract himself with cooking. So Zoro got up from his seat next to Robin and decided to go help Sanji. Zoro! Luffy yelled as the swordsman was about to open the kitchen door. Sanji said no one can go in there today! Zoro came up with a plan. I'm going to help him so we can all eat earlier. Luffy smiled. Nice idea, Zoro! He laughed excitedly. Upon entering the kitchen, Zoro was, n was not only met with a delicious smell, but, but also a mouth-watering sight. Sanji bent over the counter, tasting the food oh with his back turned against the door. Why'd you read it like that? <laughs> really? I'm just reading. Man. Zoro came up behind him and put a ha put his hands around his boyfriend's waist. The blonde tensed a little, but as soon as he realized who the intruder was, he relaxed completely. <laughs> Feeling nervous, he he playfully asked while turning around to face him. Zoro rested his head on the, on the shorter boy's shoulder. A bit, he admitted. I think everything will be just fine. Sanji conf conf wait comforted. comforted. <laughs> I, I, I always read that as confronted. I'm like, no, he's not confronting. What the? <laughs> you know what? What? He replied, lifting his head to look at him. I can I can tell you what all their reactions are going to be. He pushed Zoro down and sat in his lab. Okay. Oh, oh, I, this is progressing a lot faster than I thought. No, smash. <laughs> do, you, do, you, <laughs> do you want me to? He offered. I'd rather have a kiss, he, he answered. Oh, shit, wait a minute. <laughs> Without saying another word, Sanji ran his hand into Zoro's soft hair and rested his arms around his neck. Zoro brought his face closer to his own and captured his- Oh, come on, man. <laughs> and captured his <laughs> lips into a passionate kiss, effectively calming both of their nerves. As Zoro put his hands on Sanji's waist again, he felt as if it belonged there. As if all of him was made for this blonde lover cook. <laughs> He could, f he could live with that, because Sanji was made for him too. All this time, they were secretly together. He realized something important. Being in love with Sanji would not make him give up- Wait. <laughs> Being in love with Sanji would not make him give up his dream of becoming the best swordsman. On the contrary, Sanji inspired him even more. The feeling he got in his chest made him want to fight for him, for his friends, and for his dream. He wanted to help all of his friends, especially his lover, realize their dream too. Because being in love with Sanji made him feel like nothing was impossible. Defeating Mihawk, finding the All Blue, or the One Piece- THE ONE PIECE! The One Piece is real! Can we get my time? <laughs> seemed oh. easy. <laughs> seemed easy for Sanji <laughs> next to him. As they broke the kiss to breathe, Zoro saw Sanji blush one more time, matching his own. He had that effect on him a lot recently. <laughs> now I feel a lot better, he said. Sanji hugged him. 
Once the food was arranged on the table and everyone was about to dig in, Sanji interrupted them with a serious voice, making even Luffy stop and look up. Can we wait a bit? He asked. We have something to tell you. We? Chopper asked. Robin laughed, knowingly beside him. Zoro and I, Sanji added quickly. You sound serious, Sanji. What is it? What is it? Spit it out, I'm hungry! Luffy yelled, but everyone glared oh at him. Oh my god, Zoro's pregnant! <laughs> oh my god, and pregnant? <laughs> Perhaps. Oh no, not impreg, man. <laughs> There's no need to worry. Zoro chimed in and got up to stand next to his boyfriend. Zoro is right, he continued. What he, what he wants to say is actually good news, but we're worried about what you'll think. Why? Usopp and Brooke asked in unison. Just get it over with, Frankie, <laughs> Frankie said. We know... We won't know what... You won't know what we think until you tell us. The truth is, Sanji began, looking down. Zoro and I... We're together. Zoro finished. After a few seconds of silence, Robin said, Is that supposed to be news? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> After a few seconds of silence... Oh yeah, should I already read that? What? You knew and didn't tell me? Nami asked, angry at the other that woman. That mood. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't exactly doing a great job hiding it, she smirked. Anyway, Nami got up and hugged both of them. That's great news, guys. I'm happy for you, and this explains why Sanji hasn't been annoying us, <laughs> damn. Chopper smiled and bounced- off. Yeah. Chopper smiled and bounced in his seat. Can I call you mom and dad? <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what do these 116 comments say? I have to know. Also, get the hell out of here. It's so cute. Aw, yes, little baby. <laughs> Bakuna Doctor! <laughs> Tony Tony Thank Chopper! <laughs> Chopper too innocent, yeah. Of course not. Zoro said, patting his back. Love. Brooke said, I I would cry, but I don't have any eyes. <laughs> so I will play the most romantic song I know, he says, and went to retrieve his violin. It's just fucking, uh, like, Binks brew. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys haven't been doing any funny business while we're sleeping in the same room, have you? Usopp joked, but Sanji quickly <laughs> shook so his head. That. As Zoro answered that they would never do that. <laughs> if you had told me sooner, I would have made you a double bed just for you two, Frankie offered, making them both blush. Can we eat now? Chopper at I feel like that was more of a Luffy thing <laughs> than mm -hmm. The pair had noticed that the person whose opinion mattered the most had- Oh shit, okay, I guess that is Chopper. Who has a- hasn't said anything. Their gaze fixed on Luffy, and both waited for him to say something. The captain looked at them dead in the eye and said, As long as they don't affect the way you fight or act as part of the crew, then I'm more than happy for you, he said. <coughs> Sanji looked at the others, who started speaking to all of them, and not just Luffy. The truth is that now that Zoro is next to me, my will to fight and my dreams- No, our dreams- Come, come true is greater than ever. I feel, I feel, and I know I'm stronger than ever. Our love motivates me to do so much more than I could do alone. I always had a reason to fight to keep going, but everything changed. But now everything is so intense. The fact that I'm with him now is, is only going to change the way I act around him and nothing else. And it's going to make me fight better and even than ever before. How romantic. <laughs> By the time he was done, Zoro couldn't tear, tear his eye from him. Oh, this is before he got cut up, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, Jim ain't with them, so this is probably pre-time skip. <laughs> wait, Brooke, wait, I don't- Words are hard! <laughs> he was amazed that his feelings per- Wait, he was amazed that his feelings portrayed- Perfectly betrayed his own. Once again, he was glad to choose him. He was even proud. 
Oh god, fuck. I, reading's hard! <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself, Zoro. Zoro said and brought Sanji closer to him. Luffy smiled with the- smiled that big, bright smile he always did when he was satisfied and happy. Good, he said. Now let's celebrate! Later that night, when little food was left on the table and everyone, except for Chopper, was drunk, Luffy began loud laughing and had asked, when's the wedding? It's probably gonna be the next day. <laughs> the, at, the fa at the pace that these people are going, the wedding is soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sanji, who was not as drunk as Zoro, answered that it was too early to think about something like that. Zoro, on the other hand, completely drunk by alcohol, said, Why? I can marry you even now. And squeezed him into a tight backwards hug. <laughs> yes! Nami chimed in. Yeah. That's what it says! It's a yes with a- with A's. <laughs> who's gonna- Who's gonna marry who? She asked, looking around for someone who could do it. They can marry me and Robin too. Whoa, I didn't know that. <laughs> After she fell into Robin's lap and kissed her senseless, everyone was left speechless, even in their drunken state once again that night. After a minute of silence, though, Zora laughed out loud and pressed his own lips to his lover's. Great, Luffy said. This... There's gotta be another party! Sanji, food! Sanji couldn't hear him. Zoro was kissing him with all of his might and power. They were happier than ever. And... But well, we got four extra bonus chapters! Ooh! That's like... Dang, I don't even know. I was gonna say, I was gonna think of a word count, but I don't think... I don't think I can make one up. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> Oh yeah, extra yeah, chapter cool. number one, Reunion! Zoro tried to stay calm. He really did. He couldn't even find the right words to describe how much he missed Sanji. His training had been rough, and he was grateful they'd both had the chance to become stronger than- Stronger and ready for whatever awaited them in this mysterious sea. He just wished he could rest next to his boyfriend whenever the training became too much for even him. He had to relax too sometimes. The, I'm sorry, my brain, I got distracted. The thought of returning to Sanji had kept him motivated when he needed it most. Another confirmation that being in love is not holding him back, but helping him move forward and change for the better. So, two years had passed like that, and Zora began his journey back to the meeting point, both excited and anxious to see his lover cook again. Gonna wait to show him his new moves and techniques. What he hadn't considered, though, was how well, the blonde could have changed, too, if the swordsman did say so himself. Time had worked a miracle on Sanji, and that's why Zoro couldn't stay calm. There was no denying that Sanji had always been attractive, but the thing mm -hmm. had become even more so. <laughs> it's an understatement. No, attractive <laughs> is one word, hot as fuck is another one, man. <laughs> He had the urge to touch and kiss him. It was not about to jump in minute, minutes after meeting him, though. As the two men stood opposite each other, openly staring while a thousand thoughts passed through their minds, Sanji broke the silence. What happened to your eye? he asked. Zoro laughed hard with his head thrown back, and he did not expect the words as if uh, these words to be the first that his boyfriend had told him upon two years of being apart. It's a long story, he answered. I'd really prefer it if we talk about something else right now. Like what? Sanji hit his head on the taller man's chest. Oh wait, why'd they make Zoro taller? Hmm. In my brain, I don't know why it works this way, but Zoro's shorter. Really? Really? I think they're the, the same height in, in One Piece. I know canonically, yeah, they probably are. Mm -hmm. But in my head it's like... Like... My... You will get to a leader. Mm -hmm. But uh, Sanji's cheeks flushed from embarrassment. You... You too, he whispered. The swordsman deepened his voice on purpose, even though a blush appeared on his face too. I look cute? No. The blonde looked up. You look rather handsome and maybe a little hot, he said after he blushed a second time. <laughs> they reunited. He hid his face in his 
Uh, I lost my place. Only a little. Uh, he hit his face in his chest again. Only a little. Zoro tried to look upset, but was only teasing him. No, you always look a little hot. Now you're like, extra hot. <laughs> the cook answered, his voice muffled by Zoro's body. Look at me, he requested in a gentle tone. Come on, Sanji. Stop hiding like a blushing maiden. The shorter man raised his head in disbelief. It's your fault, Marimo. I didn't like- used to be like this. He let go of Zoro completely. The latter only laughed in his response. You said Marimo, Sanji. He explained when he saw the confused expression on his boyfriend's pretty face. So what? Sanji demanded, his hands on his waist. That you're my boyfriend doesn't make- Now that you're my boyfriend, doesn't mean make you less of a Marimo. Indeed, his voice was playful. And that you're my boyfriend only makes you more of a love cook. Idiot. Sanji looked away. How'd you even find your way back here? I managed. The taller- he left seven years earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I managed. The taller man smirked and approached his partner. Remind me of what you- Remind me of why you haven't kissed me yet? Don't tell me you met someone else. He faked a hurt expression. Sanji shook his head as if to push away a bad thought. If only you knew, he'd probably laugh. To close the distance between them. I'd rather be doing something else with my mouth at the moment. Like... When <laughs> <laughs> Let me read some comments. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, hold on. What did he say? It's all my... <laughs> the first one, the first one, the first one's so good. <laughs> Damn, Zoro, and they got the fucking camera? Oh my god! What? And the comments are funny. Yeah, but, th um, these are good. <laughs> when their lips brushed against each other, the whole world seemed to have stopped moving. Because no matter what else they said or did, would not satisfy their craving they had for one another. Only like that, they could express their desire perfectly. Lips locked together, tongues sliding against each other. They just pressed close <laughs> in a passionate kiss that lasted for as long as they couldn't breathe anymore. As they broke apart for air, they whispered, I love you at the same time. And everything felt right once again. They knew that the time spent away from each other was hard. Training was not time wasted. After all, they were together again and their bond was stronger than before, just like their hearts and their will. Nothing could break them now. It's beautiful. <laughs> my little babies! Oh my god, what happened in this chapter? <laughs> chapter huh? two what moments! What happened? I, I, there's there's not really spacing. <laughs> oh, I still on an ad. Oh, buy a Tesla today. New Cybertruck out now. I'm <laughs> playing Tetris because of this ad. <laughs> It'll make the time go by faster. Yeah, we should oh, get shit, one of those. I'm so bad ones. at this. I know, please. I beg of you. Sometimes I get the Korean dramas. No, I've been getting a lot. I've been reading a lot of, like, SMG 3-4 fanfiction, and I keep getting, like, medication mm -hmm. ads. You know what? Like, that medical. Is so, that's so real. That is so real. I think you might need that. <gasps> Bitch, is it because it's SMG 3-4 shit? Yes! It's not bad, man! You just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. I probably never will. It's enemies to lovers. It's like who wouldn't want to pair like like the the fucking emo goth like it's like the the fucking like this with, with like the what is it the like the golden retriever x like black cat kind of like thing like moon and sun like opposites but they come together. Who wouldn't want? I that? could literally make. I could literally do that with any ship. <laughs> but mine's special. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, continue. Extra chapter two. Yes, yeah, alright. Moments of Sanji and Zoro's relationship. I'll see if I can read this without getting some of the words messed up. Because <laughs> it's just a spacing. It's gonna throw my eyes off. <laughs> Many people thought that Zoro called the shots of his relationship with Sanji because of the way the blonde blushed around the swordsman. While well, those people are dead wrong, they only need to see how they cook together to be convinced. Zoro, can you cut up the vegetables? Sanji asks, looking up to face his boyfriend. 
Sure, Zoro said. After he gave him a peck on the lips, he got to work. Zoro, Sanji said after minutes had passed. Not like that. What's the difference? The taller man asked. But put the knife down anyway. He knew that voice. Sanji was angry. There is a difference, he informed. And now I have to use these because I can't- I absolutely cannot waste food. Recalling his story, Son oh, Zoro smiled, understanding. Teach me then, he said, his voice low and seductive. Oh, shit. So it's like, teach me then. <laughs> <laughs> As if, he laughed. The best you can do right now is leave the kitchen so I can finish already. You wound me. Zoro pointed at his heart. You'll manage. Sanji went back to cooking again. Zoro kissed him and left. Alright, asterisks. I guess this is a new moment. <laughs> <laughs> One night, Sanji woke up crying. Zoro rushed to his side, alarmed. Did you have a nightmare? He asked, while checking for fever or any signs of sickness. No, Sanji answered. It was a good dream. Why are you crying then? Zoro looked confused. I found me all blue, he explained. I cried because I thought it was real. Damn. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you mean, womp womp? <laughs> the swordsman took both of his boyfriend's hands in his. Sanji, his voice was determined and firm. I will help you find the all blue. How? The cook questioned. You really have no sense of direction. Zoro left the room. Sanji bursted out laughing. You know, maybe Zoro is like, is actually a compass and it leads to the all blue. Just saying. One day, so oh. Yeah, see? I, there's actually a theory that Zoro is going the wrong direction because the direction that he's meant to go is Zoro's Laughing Tail Island, which is where the One Piece is. <laughs> Oh, that is... That's really interesting. Yeah. One day, Sanji decided to give Zoro a present. He was wandering the streets of the city they were currently in for supplies, but had no idea... I knew, but no idea came to him. Then he saw it. A huge bottle of sake. It was not the size that impressed him, though. After he paid for the alcohol, the seller told them that, it was, that he made an excellent choice. But why is it called like that? He wondered. Beats me. He answered. Later, later when he gave Zora the sake, he got a totally different reaction from the one he was expecting. Zora was smiling with a child who had just found candy. You actually like it? The blonde sounded surprised. Of course, the taller one answered honestly. This will keep them away from my booze. Since that day, Zoro has been keeping his sake safe in Marimo sake bottle. Sandy bottom. Oh, it's a safe that just looks like a a sake. <laughs> okay, that actually is pretty cool. I would want that. Is there anything similar to that? You know. Hmm. Give me That'd like, cool. give yeah. me a big ass like Vox head, and then I'll open it, and it has all my oh, little trinkets in it. <laughs> like a, like a little I, like. Okay, I just need it. I got a DIY a safe. <laughs> Yeah, just make it shaped like Vox's head. Zoro, it's, not, it's gonna be over the whole paper paperwork because it's a flat screen. Oh, is she, you're right. Actually, there, I've seen people that do cool shit with like Nintendo Switches. You can make it look like it's like like normally it looks like Vox, but when you put the switch in, that it holds it and you can play on it like a little screen. Mhm. Mm I see people. Oh, do that'll be cool. Yeah, I see people do that with like a uh, fuck uh, BMO from BMO. Adventure Time. Yeah, they put like their BMO. switch in there. Zoro bought a new sword. Its blade was slim and golden. It was not the type he would use to fight, but he bought it anyway, for reasons. Why did he lie to himself? He got it because it reminded him of Sanji. That's why he would never use it to fight, but always. That's. Always why he actually named it Sanji. But no one had to know about that. <laughs> Sanji knew that when someone asked him what he liked best about his boyfriend, he could answer something like his heart or character. 
When Nami asked him though, he couldn't help it. Have you seen the man? His face? His body? You were practically sitting just by looking at him. His back muscles, he's an he answered, no regrets. Nami swore. <laughs> Dude, his, he, his muscles must be fucking insane. He works out a shit ton. Yeah. <gasps> Chapter 3, Jealousy. What does this man have to be jealous about? He's probably jealous of my dad. Of talking <laughs> taxidermy animals. Talking taxidermy doll? <laughs> Yeah, I, I have the ads. audio off. <laughs> it's it's a freaking smoking ad, anti smoking. Oh, like the like the quit vaping. Yeah, like the you know you know the one. Yeah, you know the rules, and so do I. Zoro and Sanji have a <laughs> love that. Uh, Zoro and Sanji have a perfectly reasonable and healthy relationship. They support and trust each other completely. Why wouldn't they? Zoro did has never given Sanji a reason to worry, and neither has Sanji. So why is this happening? Every time the swordsman saw someone touch his boyfriend, he would get frustrated and angry in no time. Jealousy. He knew it was, but he would never admit it. It was his problem he did not want to worry Sanji when he knew it was only his mind acting irrationally. So he did not talk about it with him. He even tried to hide it from him. Even if he knew he shouldn't hide things from his love foot. He was doing a great job of not showing his possessive feelings. Until one day, he couldn't stand it anymore. Oh, shh. Ooh, someone's gonna get fucked up. Yeah, someone's gonna get a punch. <laughs> they had once again stopped to get supplies at a lively island. When a pair, when the pair had decided to split up, Zoro, not wanting to disturb the cook with his poor, with his poor knowledge of picking out food and ingredients, he had walked around for a while and gone to a shop to grab lunch. After about two hours, he went to the market to find his boyfriend. It didn't take it. Whoa! He knows direction. Holy shit! Like, this is not canon anymore. This is not like <laughs> the character assassination on Zoro right now is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. But it didn't take him long to spot his golden blonde hair, so he started walking in that direction, only to stop dead in his tracks. The man was currently buying from, from had a hand on his shoulder, and Sanji had, had his head thrown back in laughter, enjoying it. Calm down, Zoro. They're probably just excited over food supplies or something. <laughs> you can't just find someone else in two hours. A month. He is someone he knew. Someone he liked. I was gonna dump you to be with him again. No! Stop that! You know Sanji hasn't been with any other men. We've talked about it together. The two poison voices in his head got annoyed. So... He went back to the ship without making a scene. He was sure Sanji had an explanation. He trusted him. It was the other man he didn't trust. When Sanji came back half an hour later, Zoro still hadn't completely cleared his thought. I'm back, Sanji said excitedly. When Zoro didn't move to hug him or even acknowledge his presence, he knew something was wrong. He was so sad when they had apart ways. What happened to upset him in the meantime? Zoro, is something wrong? He decided there was no reason to not ask him about it. Green-haired man just shrugged and answered, Come on! Sanji took a step closer to the gloomy man. Talk to me. A second or two after seeing his adorable boyfriend's pouting face, Zoro came in. Really, it's stupid. Unreasonable, even. Sanji sighed. I don't care, just talk to me. That's how relationships work. The green-haired man admired his boyfriend for staying so calm. When he himself was acting like a pampered, like a pampered, like a spoiled child. So he decided to talk. Earlier, I got bored alone, and so I looked for you in the market, and I saw you being so friendly with another man. It just felt so jealous and possessive. It scared me. Made me angry with myself. Sanji rushed to sit next to him. Zoro, you know I'd never do anything like that, right? I know, but what bothered me was my reaction. It was so unreasonable and immature to act like that, so. Act like that when I know you so well. The blonde cook ran his hands through the swordsman's hair, effectively calming him. It's okay. Really? Zoro asked. You wouldn't be saying that if you knew how I felt in that moment. Sanji smiled reassuringly. Sometimes we can't control how we feel. What matters to me is that. 
how you felt didn't affect the way you thought. You knew that your jealousy was unreasonable, so you left rather than making a scene. I appreciate that, especially when I know you're always ready to, to draw your katana. I think I just fell in love with you again. Thank you. The blonde climbed into the other one. Other one's laughed and kissed him slowly but deeply. And thank God you didn't make a scene. I would have kicked your ass. Sanji. A week later, when a man decided it would be, be a good idea to be a good idea to sorry, <laughs> I just got a message. <laughs> uh, good idea to sit next to Zoro, right fucking next to him, and flirt with him right in front of Sanji. The latter man did not act that calmly. They both went back to the ship running, seeing the look on their faces. Nami became worried and asked what had happened. Sorry, really, Sanji apologized. I had to cut a bitch down. <laughs> I don't know what happened to chapter 4, but this is chapter 5, apparently. I don't know what happened to it. The soup is not easy. I know shit about cooking. Also, read the new chapter, Sanji. Please be- what do you- what do you, when was this posted? Oh, jeez. I'm scared. Should I be worried? Nah, that's fine. It's not a secret that the Straw Hats have a reckless captain. No shit, it's Luffy. It's not surprising if an accident or two occurred and sickness is not uncommon either. What Zora was dealing with was impossible. Himself included. Himself included. Everyone else was down with the flu. And he had to take care of them. Well, him. He was only really... He only put real effort in making sure Sanji was okay. Everyone else could do it themselves. <clears throat> it was a difficult task. Without Chopper to make medicine and Sanji to cook warm meals, the swordman was left helpless. But he was... But he wasn't just gonna let his boyfriend suffer. So he decided to cook a warm noodle and chicken soup. I love Aww. chicken noodle soup. I can't remember the last time I had chicken noodle soup. You know what, that's it. We're After we go to Outback Steakhouse, we're gonna go to Target and pick up a thing of chicken noodle soup and heat it up, can it all in the microwave, and then we're gonna eat it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the can. It's to make it warmer. Can it all. <laughs> we're gonna put the can in the microwave. <laughs> it's to make the soup warmer. <laughs> No, it turns out it's extremely difficult to make one when the only thing you can do is cut vegetables. And the only reason you can do that is because you're a swordsman. Apparently, it's not the only thing you must do to at least make something edible. Sanji would curse him if he knew how many times he had thrown away food just because it tasted like shit. Really, he had even eaten a right. Really, he had eaten. He, he had even eaten a rice belt that had fallen on the ground and crushed by an asshole. But he still wouldn't give that sad excuse of soup to Sanji. Zoro! Luffy sleepily called from his room. Food! <laughs> Zoro gave him the latest attempt at cooking. Luffy could stomach it. They had survived for months, just the two of them after all. Usopp and Brooke used to live alone, but he was too embarrassed to give it to Nami, Robin, or Chopper of any, any of it. They would have waited for Sanji to eat. They will have to wait for Sanji to eat first. Sorry, crew. When he went to go see Sanji, Sanji, who looked pretty even now, that he was he was sick with that cute little blush decorated on his cheeks, along with the rest of his face. But he will always look perfect to Zoro. Really, Zoro? He asked. His tone was not proud at all. <laughs> what? He asked. Back even though he knew what his boyfriend was going to talk about. You're giving them the, the food that tastes bad, aren't you? The villain explained. They're not complaining, Zoro answered with a shrug on his shoulder. He was silently, still silently panicking, though. Zoro. Sanji's voice was calm and soft. You know I will eat anything you cook me, right? I know it doesn't come naturally to you, so I appreciate your effort. I don't care how bad it tastes. Probably will taste delicious to me. 
You say that because you haven't tried what I made yet. It seriously sucks. Zero turned his face away to hide his blush that matched Sanji's. Because you won't let me try any, the cook reasoned. And don't think I don't know you threw most of it away, so there won't be any left for me. I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't like that. He apologized sincerely. I'm gonna make some more for the rest of you to eat. You do that, the shorter man smiled. I'm going to try my best this time, he said, and left the room. This is better. I wish it, it like it opened up and was like, this tastes like garbage! <laughs> <laughs> no. This isn't so bad, the blonde said after trying some of the swordsman's food. I mean, it could be better, but nice effort. Thank you. Zoro smiled and leaned down to kiss his boyfriend. Zoro! Nami yelled. What is this? Super piss! Next time you give me something so shitty, you'll be wearing it as a hat before you even have time to blink. Zoro rolled his eyes. Told you so, Sanji. Harmon found the situation amusing and couldn't stop laughing. Fuck you, crew. And look! You can go follow them on Twit on not Twitter, Tumblr for all their anime stuff. Here's their thing. <laughs> and that's it. Wow. Well, hold up, let me clap. Let me drop my phone. That was really good. Let's go. <laughs> how, how did you feel? That was nice. Let's go. You know, I like that one. It was it was quick, it was short, it's just what I needed. Short and sweet. Yep, short and sweet. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> well, uh... If it was something bad, I was just gonna be like, short and sweet, just like you, Jolene. <laughs> you, do you say you can't say that because of accuracy, or you can't I was say like, that? Like, I was like, I was like, I, I was like, I don't want to make fun oh of you. Oh my god, I'm short. sweet. <laughs> yeah, you're sweet. You're like a okay, little, you're like a little nice. cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Yeah, you're just. You're, I you're feel like, like if I was a pastry, I'd be like a. Like a mm. cupcake. A cupcake. Yeah. A cupcake. A cup. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! Are you flirting with me? Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I am. <laughs> No, but I feel like it'd be... Mm. I think an apple turnover. Nice. I'll like, be... if I had a be a pastry. I'll be one of those, like, uh... I'll be a croissant. I don't know if that counts as a pastry, but I'll be a croissant. Yeah, that counts as a pastry. Fuck oh my yeah. gosh. We're, we're so similar. We're both triangular. Yeah. Oh yeah, croissants are a triangle, huh? <laughs> It's either that or like a goncha. A goncha? <gasps> oh my god, I gotta take you to a bakery. Yeah. A Mexican bakery. Alright, so we have a date on Saturday, I guess. Oh my god. We're, we're gonna go wow. to the bakery, we're gonna go to Outback Steakhouse, we're gonna right. go get chicken <laughs> noodle soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this date's gonna be amazing, Jolie, and oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hold up, let me... I think I just got a set of false lashes. I'll wear those. <laughs> oh wait, before we get ahead of ourselves with trying to plan on a date, you know what we have to do? We have to spin the wheel to see what we gotta do next right. time. The wheel, the wheel. The wheel, the wheel, the wheel. Alright, what are you hoping for? Uh, you know what I'm hoping for. Oh yes, the Mihawk X Shanks. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> I feel like- uh, I was gonna be like- Alright, we're leaving for LAW! Yay! <laughs> I love LAW! Our little man's back! Is that the one where we're- We were found in the ocean? Yeah, yeah. Where we're white- Okay, like, gotcha. Pale I can remember shit. that. I love- I love LAW. I miss that old LAW X reader. It was very nostalgic. I, I miss the Not, old like, kind. It's very nostalgic <laughs> to have LAW. Yeah. <laughs> He's an ancient- being. I've been getting a lot of law edits. I mean, he's not ancient. He's like, what, 26? <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's, it's so not wrong. Right. Oh, perfect, perfect. I'm 22, he's 26. That's a fine age difference. 
It's it's appropriate. <laughs> this is like me justifying some of my like the boxing. Like I'm I'm like 20, 21. He's like He's I like don't know 50. 50. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Are you? Oh my god. The age difference for yours is so much higher than mine. I know. I mean, uh, I, mean I, I like well. Sanji. He's twenty one canonically. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. Did you, a quick question. Did you get to, like, when you turned from 17 to 18, did you stop liking certain characters because they, like, because you were technically not Oh, adult? absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that, well, that was a period when I was, like, 17. I, like, stopped watching anime. Mm hmm And, like, like enjoying that type of, like, a media. Because I was just, like, people were like, oh my god, you don't like that anymore. Do you, Jolene? And I go, no, because I'm a liar. <laughs> and I was, you know, I'm scared of being outcasted. Okay. And I say no, and then I actually drop it. Yeah. But yeah, once I got back into it, any character I liked before I was, um, before I was, like, 18, gone. I was like, nope. Nope. Those are children. Did you like any adults when you were younger? Or, like, like I mean, in anime. In anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. 100%. Did those, did those carry over, or did you just start a new, fresh slate of new um, simp? I don't remember any of because I didn't do I didn't do X readers. Oh, that's right. Like I I dropped X readers when I was about eleven. Damn, unlike me. <laughs> so for like ten years, I didn't read any X readers. You're missing out, man. There's some good content. Yeah, there is. There is. There is. Oh, yeah. I gotta. There's some that I really gotta get to because I started them and I forgot. <laughs> Do you actually like when you write a like a Y like an X reader? Do you actually replace your name in there, or do you give like God a no? Name? I just make an OC or something. Oh my God, you're just like me for real, for real. <laughs> Except my OC doesn't have the same alias as I do. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix. Damn. I think I started one of the Wattpad book club readings, and I was clearing out like the like the like the POV replacer, and it had Phoenix Flare in there because I was reading. Stuff. You're so funny. Yeah, I don't I don't remember what I was reading during that time, but like you saw me like open the thing and then like take out the word Phoenix. <laughs> Whatever I was reading is now a mystery, even to me. <laughs> But anyway, Jolene, thank you for joining. I highly appreciate fun. it. I hope you, yeah, you know, we got through an entire book, so we don't even have to come back to this now. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the entire book. It feels so weird. Yeah. We did like a one shot almost. <laughs> in, in the in the description is a bunch of links, including by the way to uh, uh, Twitter, uh, Discord, uh, Instagram. I don't post on Instagram that often though. It's mainly, like, me simping for, like, busy pop shit, so I don't know about that one. I don't even t post on Twitter. Why do I even have a Twitter? I don't do anything on Twitter. I repost <laughs> merch, and then I like Vox shit. And I have to be careful what I like on Twitter, because then everyone can see your likes, you know. <laughs> mm. And then, uh... D big shout out to fucking Astro Gummy for making the profile banner and PN YouTuber. They're like a celebrity around these parts. Oh my god. Yeah, Astro the Gummy. Yeah, the Astro Gummy. The Astro Gummy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's their new title. <laughs> and then uh, if you're interested in watching or I guess listening to any of the previous Wattpad book club readings, there is a video on screen of the last one that I did. And a playlist full of like a hundred of them, if that interests you. D expect the earlier ones to be low quality. We didn't really. We, I didn't have. I wasn't that good. <laughs> anyway, you got any final things to say, Jolene? I don't. I hope you'll have a wonderful Pride Month and be safe in be whatever you're who doing. you are for your Pride. <laughs> Bye! Bye!